Um, yeah, you might recall the other uh, a, wee, a wee while ago. This is why they don't allow the Ministry of Health to be in charge of the pandemic. It would seem logical. But, uh, you know, pretty much after the Diamond Princess um, and the mishandling of that, they just, the government decided to put, and, and again, it seemed kind of backwards to put the Ministry of Economic Development in charge of the pandemic instead. But basically, they're trying to figure out how to make sure that the Ministry of Health just d does as little as possible. Um, and it's apparently it's considered within the government one of the the, the less reputable uh, ministries. It's just they're, they're just associated with a lot of scandals and uh, incompetence. And here's another case. This is actually there was a, a, a after the Ministry of Health itself was issuing directives to people not to go out drinking late at night, not to have parties. It was actually the um, the party was actually from. Was it here? I believe it was actually a, it was like a, a New Year's party, a farewell party that was held actually by members of the like the disease tracking division that they had this party and it turned into a cluster where 27 people got COVID-19, you know, which is actually doing and it was at like at a nightclub at Ginza, exactly what they've been condemning everybody else for doing and they actually did it. Um, just kind of comedic uh, in, in a bad way that the Japanese Ministry of Health, they are the, they are the ones actually this is exactly the sort of thing which has led to us having a state of emergency and the people who are supposed to be telling us not to do this sort of thing are doing this sort of thing so it was a kind of a farewell party i, I suppose in terms of their credibility um that's how that one worked out i mentioned earlier about the distribution of vaccines and how that came out a bit weird uh, in tokyo case in point um this is a map of tokyo uh, those numbers represent the number of boxes now i did i actually did the math on this the other day I was a little bit wrong with the caption on this, by the way. I said that didn't ask for it, and I misunderstood that. Apparently what had happened was the Ministry of Health, um, the same Ministry of Health as here, um, asked every municipality in Japan, and by the way, this is not done at a prefecture level. This is not done by Tokyo Prefecture. This is actually done by the local city councils. Um, so within Tokyo, there are 23 significant uh, city councils as well as uh, you know other cities, but this is the, the 23 wards of Tokyo. So they asked them all, uh, without any sort of guidance, you know, how many doses do you think you're going to need for the elderly rollout? And um, some, uh, apparently there were sort of there was no guidance on how they were supposed to fill this out. So, uh, you know, how many boxes would you like? And each box contains something like, I believe it was something like 200 vials. And every vial, uh, depending on what type of syringe you're using, either it's five doses or six doses. They've only had the five dose syringes until now, but next month they're going to have six dose syringes for everybody. So that will increase the number of shots available in every box. Basically, every box represents around, I believe, on on the current syringes, it's like uh, 900 sh shots and, and it's like 1,100 shots with the, with the new syringes. Um, so, you know, it's not a lot, and there are going to be future supply sort of drops. But apparently when they asked each one of the wards, they, at first I thought they hadn't responded. That wasn't great. They had responded to the survey. However, uh, some of them, like Shinagawa there and Minatoku and, you know, the fancy, the fancy places, um, you know, many of them responded, hey, yeah, well, we, for the first two weeks, I think we'll need three boxes, please. Um, Katsushikaku, it's kind of interesting, the, the less economically well-off parts of Tokyo over here, you can see 47, 38, uh, Adachi 24, um, they said, uh, we would like all the boxes, please. <laughs> so, uh, you know, apparently, um, the, this became a big thing on TV, that people were assuming that, you know, if you had wards with similar populations of elderly people, like, uh, you know, Minato Ward, or, uh, Toshima with Ikebukuro, you come up here, um, Toshima had the, had the lowest number of boxes where they actually, um, you know, assumed that they, they didn't know what sort of criteria, what sort of basis to make their estimates based upon. So they did it based on a two week forecast where it's, um, you know, Katsushika and Edogawa and Adachi made their estimates based on the end of all time. Um, you know, they, when they gave all these radically different things, apparently in Toshima they expected, well, the Ministry of Health, of course, they all have common sense. So they, they, they're going to balance it out reasonably to make sure everybody gets a reasonably even spread and there won't be too much of a radical difference. And apparently not. 15 times difference between uh, what uh, Toshimaku, which Ikebukura has, and a nearby Katsushikaku. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, they're expecting common sense, but of course that is from the same ministry that had uh, 27 staffers uh, have a party in Ginza and catch coronavirus. So, you know, maybe expecting a little bit too much. Perhaps they've learned their lessons, I'm sure. 
Um, but yes, they pointed out there's no objective. And they've said, hey, Ministry of Health, why don't you give us actual objective guidelines on this? Um, as well as, you know, why not actually, rather than just making a lolly scramble for boxes of vaccines, why not actually think about where it actually needs them? Uh, in terms of population, in terms of current cases, and uh, distribute them that way. But apparently for now, they they took people literally. Apparently, by the way, Katushka actually asked for like 53. Um, and, and that was too much even for the Ministry of Health. So they only gave them 47. But uh, when Ikebukuro said they needed like three, they were like, oh, cool. Uh, we didn't realize there were so few people there. They probably didn't even think that much into it. So that's a, that's a, that's been a problem. Um, and indeed, Quint Rankin, they should have asked what the elderly population was. Bear in mind, this is not the, com the total number of vaccines. There will be future boxes. And they were asking based on their readiness to distribute. But here's the thing. Nobody's ready to distribute. Um, these these va vaccines in Edogawa and Katsushika, they're, they're, they're not, the, the numbers of vaccinations every day have not gone up based on the delivery of these boxes. They're all being kept in freezers. And they're all, they, most of them have not even figured out yet how they are going to distribute the vaccines. Um, they're just sitting there. Um, they're just making sure that they have enough. Um, so, yeah, yeah, um, again, it should have been, I agree, it should have been distributed just based on the population. And frankly, the government should be doing a lot more in terms of guidance to help with distribution efforts. And right now, they've just completely abdicated responsibility for that. Well, that's what happens. So, yeah, that's what's going on with that.